Hey, what's going on guys? Dave the Usher here. We're going to be doing a pretty cool video today. Uh, it's going to be uh, an unboxing, and then we're going to be checking out, as the title suggests, the new Profit Director Destro from the G.I. Joe Classified series line. This is a new line that came out in 2020. I've been pretty, pretty into it. Uh, they're G.I. Joe figures. They're six inches, kind of like what Marvel and a lot of other toy companies have been uh, doing lately. Now, okay, I'm going to say this right now in the first minute of this video. I am <laughs> I am a video game guy. I do a lot of video game videos. Um, and, you know, I'm a toy collector. I, I collect a lot of Transformers, G.I. Joe, and other things. So, you know, I'm into it. I'm into the hobby. But I'm not really a, I'm not a toy reviewer channel, okay? So, uh, you know. The reason why I'm doing this video is because as of right now, in early August, there's like, I think there's like one video out there that has done a review of Profit Director Destro, um, also known as Pimp Daddy Destro. Actually, check this out. This is 2007 <laughs> Pimp Daddy Destro. Uh, I believe the first version of Pimp Daddy Destro came out in, what was it, the mid-90s, and I think we are on... Well, if you count this one, I think we are on version 3 or maybe 4, actually. There's been a couple versions throughout the years. Um, the first one was not really... It was kind of like a happy accident, I think, at the time. But, uh, yeah, this is the 2007 <clears throat> version. I have this in my collection. And actually, it's funny. I was going to get this autographed by uh, the original Destro voice actor, Arthur Bernhardt. Uh, at, you know, at a typical convention a couple years ago. I had this, I went to the convention, and I remember talking to someone, because he, he spotted this in my hands, and he's like, oh man, if you want um, Arthur to sign your figure, it's like 125 bucks, or maybe it was 150 actually, that he's charging for it. Um, and I'm like, what, really? And I'm like, why, what's up with that? And he's like, uh, well, the whole pimp daddy... Thing kind of it doesn't offend him but he was just kind of he wasn't into it basically um, yeah I met that guy Arthur Bergenhart he's a very interesting character uh, I'm sure someone watching this video must have met him at a convention here or there over the years at a GI Joe convention or you know something else um, so I didn't get it autographed I mean because that's just too crazy uh, <laughs> still having this in my collection you know cool thing I'm sure some of you have a version of him. But anyway, man, we are doing Profit uh, Director Destro. I guess they couldn't slap Pimp Daddy on the uh, on the box. Let's just get to it. I am going to unbox and then we're going to take him out and you know, we're going to get close up and look at all of his accessories and all that stuff. Like I said, I'm not a toy channel, so man, eh. there are a lot of pretty cool channels. I've been paying attention to uh, well, this hasn't exactly been Wave 2. Um that's coming out recently, more like the Target exclusive figures that have been coming out recently, like uh, the second version of Roadblock, Beachhead, uh, the Cobra Trooper, and uh, Baroness. Um, people have had a lot of success on finding three out of the four. That would be Beachhead, version two Roadblock, and the Cobra Trooper. Not so much Baroness and her motorcycle. I actually, honestly, I, I have found a couple of Cobra Troopers um, at a store. I'm over in Pennsylvania, near the Philly area in the suburbs. So I have found a couple that I, I cleared out in, um, it, it was a target down kind of in Philly, near the city. Um, I have been on the His Tank. I've been on like a couple of Facebook uh, message boards. Uh, in particular, the Full Force Podcast. I really recommend the YouTube channel, the Full Force Podcast, right there. I'm a total plug right there. Uh, great YouTube. They're up to date on all the news. You know, so that's one channel of many. There's a lot of cool G.I. Joe channels out there. Uh, here's, a good, here's a good podcast for G.I. Joe-related um, things. Is uh, Knowing is Half the Podcast. Uh, I love that podcast. They talk about G.I. Joe episodes. They've done the original Sunbow series. I think currently right now they're on the Deke. Ooh, Deke. The Deke series. 
Uh, I don't know. I could plug other stuff. It's just stuff I like. Anyway, I'm unwrapping this thing. I gotta get this on camera. Look, it's in bubble wrap. It's in bubble wrap. I've watched a lot of reviews, reviewers, on G.I. Joe Classified Toys. Um, some have figures that aren't really released yet, such as this. And they kind of beat around the bu uh, beat around the bush, or just play coy and say things that when I'm watching the video, it actually I find it annoying. So I'm just going to be straightforward and say this right off the bat. I bought this on uh, Mer Mercari, not eBay. I don't really use Mercari that much, like if at all. I bought this on Mercari, okay? Um, yeah, kind of scalper prices. I know some people are extremely anti scalpers, and I totally get that. Um, as far as the Cobra Trooper stuff goes, you know, that stuff is outrageous. This right here is Prophet Director Destro, and he's supposed to come out, what was it, October slash November, right? So, a um, couple months to go, and I'm like, you know what, I, I, I kind of want to do it. It's kind of cool. I'm going for it. So, I'm taking the bubble wrap off, and I want to look at this right now. Oh, his necklace. Destro, your necklace isn't on your face right, but we'll fix that. So anyway, I'm looking at it right here. Prophet Director Destro from the G.I. Joe Classified series with his gold helmet. I think you want to see too. Here you are. Uh-huh. Uh and he comes with his Pimp Daddy accessories. I like the art. All right, cut the top off. I'm going to slide him out in all his glory and accessories. If you look behind him now, there's that empty space. You can see like a gold cobra symbol. It's pretty cool. It's a nice box. You know, I really do like it. I like so much about it. I just wish on the back or even like, I don't know, somewhere on the side, they had a place for like information. I guess that's just not the way they want to do it uh, with this line or really any more entirely. So, okay. Right here we have uh, Prophet Director Destro in all his uh, glory. You can see his gun you can see his uh, cape, <laughs> his briefcase. Uh, the original had the briefcase and the, um, oh, the gun. But uh, we have a couple of new things this time, like, uh, like the cape and the, uh, the, do yeah, the dollar sign that's on fire. And the, uh, the, oh, the sunglasses over here. <laughs> the sunglasses, although version 2 Roadblock also came with sunglasses. So let's check this out in more detail. Boom. Okay, so before we get to all of your accessories, Destro, I just want to see you up close, you know, bare bones, I guess you could say. Uh, like I said, guys, I am not a, I'm not a toy channel, so, uh, hey, I don't know, I, I can use some terms. You know, there's Destro's ab crunch, you know, if he wants to sit down and, I don't know, work out those abs, he can do it. There you go, Destro. Come on, feel the burn, baby. Good stuff. Uh, I don't know, ab crunch. He's got legs and arms and a head. <laughs> you know, this thing... Actually, you could turn it all the way around if you want. His, you know, his collar kind of gets in the way a little bit. And you know what? Come to think of it, this necklace, you could take Destro's head off and take off that necklace if you want. I don't know, your call. But, uh... Yeah, the articulation is great on these new G.I. Joe classified uh, figures. I'm, I'm not a Marvel... Uh, figure collector so i suppose i could use i could do some comparisons because i know they're similar uh but uh you know that's really not my thing so uh you know his legs are pretty tight not to a problem degree you just gotta for for the sake of posing i suppose you'll just have to you might have to work it but uh yeah there are a lot of i like his shoes a, the, a little gold on the shoes it could have been cool if these were entirely, maybe overkill, but what if the shoes were all golden? Yeah, the articulation with these new figures are really nice. I'm a big fan of this new six inch figure. Let's do something different. You know, I'm not gonna be one of those old school fans who are grumpy, grouchy, curmudgeon, pasty looking dudes, whining and complaining. I want my retro O-ring style. Uh, something that a lot of us fans thought we were also going to get, but instead they're making more of uh, these, I guess you could say. They kind of look like the 
2007 and onward variety rather than the O-Ring. Hey, don't get me wrong, man. I think it would have been great. I wish that retro line was O-Rings. And yes, I actually do agree that there are some problems with uh, the upcoming releases of this retro line. But, you know, that's uh, that's another video for another day. And, you know, whatever. More G The more G.I. Joe releases, the better. And besides, I love this 6-inch line. But anyway, I, uh, I digress. Whatever. That's Destro. Um... I don't know, the butterfly, butterfly movements. Uh, you know, like I said, full body workout Destro could do. Uh, you know, hey, the arms rotate, the legs bend like a human body should, I guess. And, you know, well, and then some, and then some. In some ways, a human body should bend, and others, probably not so much. But anyway, that's Destro. You know, he's, he's not loose. He feels, you know, tight enough, but not overly tight, I would say. Uh, real quick, guys, before I give him his accessories, there is version 1 Destro. He looks really great. Um, you know, he's got his gun. He's got the briefcase. Um, oh, and there is a gun back here in his holster. So why don't we check out this guy's accessories? You know, we got the, the cloak, the burning money, the sunglasses, and, uh, you know, just the typical golden gun. So there's a nice shot at Destro. All of his accessories are on his person right now. The gun is in his holster. He has his briefcase in his hand. The, the cloak or cape is around his body. Uh, he's wearing the sunglasses. I actually have him kind of over his eyes. That's kind of another look you could do with him. It don't necessarily have to be down on his eyes. They could be just kind of, you know, he's just too cool for school, right? And he's watching his money burn. He's got so much money, he doesn't care uh, what happens to it. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, that's a nice pose for Destro, I think. He could do a couple of cool poses. And what, what animal is that? I'm going to go with leopard. Do we all agree that this is, uh, this animal was a leopard? You tell me. Whatever it is, it has to be close to being endangered. Otherwise, it's not good enough for Prophet Director Destro. Another pose of Destro, you know, his briefcase is flying open. He doesn't care, man. And there's the money shot right there. Scarlet is through with Duke and Snake Eyes and has decided to join Destro's harem. So, good stuff. Good decision, Scarlet. All right. I'm sure I'm I'm sure I'm not going to be the only collector that does a pose like this. A very quick shot of the Target exclusive figures minus the Baroness and five of the recently released uh, sort of Cobra Troopers. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is Profit Director Destro, aka Pimp Daddy Destro. Uh, I think it's a really good figure. It's supposed to come out around October, November, but dude, if you have been following this G.I. Joe classified series line from the get-go, it's been crazy. In some places, a lot of people don't even have uh, Wave 1 yet, uh, consisting of Scarlet, Duke, Roadblock, and, uh, and uh, version 1 Destro. <laughs> like, they don't even have those in stores yet. So um, from that to the... Cobra Commander variant that was released on that horrible, horrible app uh, to the Target exclusives. It's, it's kind of been a giant fiasco, but that doesn't mean that these figures aren't pretty damn good overall. Sure, a lot of people, you know, reviewers out there, myself included, could say, hey, I wish they put a little more detail in some of the guns. I wish... You know, maybe there weren't so many variations before we could get some different molds entirely. Um, but overall, this six-inch, you know, series, classified series, has been great. For those of you who might be watching who are on the fence of the, the whole, you know, classified series in general, dude, stop being a pasty, you know, curmudgeon, okay? All right, stop being a 40-year-old whiner, complainer about, you know, oh, six inches, I want my three and three-fourth uh, old-school classic style. Dude, stop being a whiner, okay, man? You know, we want kids 
to dig G.I. Joe again. We got a lot of G.I. Joe stuff coming out in 2020. These action figures. There's always the comics, of course. That video game. The Snake Eyes movie was supposed to be coming out, but that's been postponed to 2021 now. But still, man, it's been a good year so far for G.I. Joe. So stop being a whiner, okay? You know, you old school fans. Support the series. Or even if you don't support the series, support something. There's a lot of G.I. Joe stuff coming out again, okay, man? So give it a shot. Give it a chance, okay? And uh, I was going to say, come on. It's a new generation. We want we want our kids, or just kids in general, to like G.I. Joe. This is important. This is an important time in our G.I. Joe lives, okay? We don't want it to disappear again like the last couple years prior to 2020, okay? So knock it off. All right, this has been Dave the Usher showcasing uh, Prophet Director Destro. I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Good stuff.